When students head back to Norfolk State University this month, we'll have a new president at the helm. Yeah, Dr. Javon Adams Gaston was recently chosen as the school's seventh president, and she has a big to do list. In an interview you'll see only on 10, our Asia Tolliver sat down with Dr. Adams Gaston and talked about the future of the university. Well, for someone who just started her tenure late June, she says she already feels at home and she cannot wait till this weekend when she gets to meet all those new students. We talked about her short term and long term goals for the university. She says ultimately, at the end of her tenure, she wants her mark to be student success. It may seem quiet on NSU's campus right now, but that's soon to change as new Spartans move in this weekend. With each new year comes new faces, and one in particular who already has a little NSU blood running through her veins. I'm so excited because I knew that I had an aunt who graduated from here, and we're very proud of her. She's very proud of the university. Um, and then I have found over the time that I've been here that I have several uh, family members. Uh, my mother's family was originally from Portsmouth, Virginia. And so I've had several family members who have graduated from this institution. Dr. Javon Adams Gaston, or as students may call her, Dr. J, is NSU's seventh president, and she's ready to dive in. I want my mark to be student success that we change the face of student success. To create that legacy, Dr. Adams Gaston says it starts with making a connection. She also wants to boost the graduation rate, which currently sits at 34%, much lower than the national average. She says it's not useful for students to come, have a great experience, but then leave without a degree. We know some of it's financial. We know that some of it is people needing to work to go to school. But that's not the, the whole story. And if that is the story, how do we cure that? Dr. Adams Gaston comes to NSU from Ohio State University, where she was the first African American Vice President for Student Life. She says going from a predominantly white institution to a historically black university will be a change of pace, but she says it provides room for growth. Obviously, a place like Ohio State University is highly resourced, and we are not as highly resourced, so we're looking at ways to increase our resources. She believes the possibilities are endless because of all the passion, drive, and pride NSU faculty and even alum have to offer. Her goal is to attract new students through alum word of mouth and through their enrollment and admissions teams. We really contribute to the workforce of both the community and the state. And so I could see the possibilities and the commitment that people have. People love this institution. Dr. Adams Gaston says this weekend students can find her on campus helping with the move in and she's so excited to tackle this new world of infectious green and gold pride. I believe in the mission of higher ed which is to give students the opportunity to learn um, a particular area or a couple of areas but also to learn who they are and who they want to be in the world. The fall semester begins next Wednesday for NSU students. Dr. Adams Gaston also wanted to take this time to invite the community to their 1619 Making of America Summit. The event will explore the 400 year journey of our founding culture. Now that's September 25th through the 28th. Coming up at 530, find out what time frame she hopes to see her goals achieved. I'm Aisha Tolliver, 10 on your side.